All right, we are back with more Into the Flames gameplay today. I enjoyed it so much yesterday. Decided to do another one today. Plus, we got a ton of your requests uh, lined up and ready to go. So today's fire is going to be 39 Reed Street. At least I think that's what it is. Let's go ahead and double check that real quick. Uh, yes, automated fire alarm, 39 Reed Street, box 420, units dispatch. We'll go ahead and take that and uh, we'll respond with engine four from station four. We'll go down there and see what's going on anyway. Like I said, I enjoyed yesterday's video. If you guys have not watched it, be sure to check it out. It's going to be some uh, helicopter gameplay. We did some medevac flights yesterday. It was a lot of fun, but uh, today I want to fight some fires. Like that's, We're going to be putting water on some fires today. Let's grab this hydrant here. This is not going to be a good hydrant here. I can tell you that right now. With it being a red top, that is not going to be good at all. But we'll give it a try and see. Go ahead and do pressure booster. Let's get our supply going. There we go. Let's do our uh, driver's side intake. Get him. And uh, let's do passenger side large diameter so we can boost. So we'll do discharge five. Yeah, this isn't going to be good at all. It's probably going to be less than 200. We'll see. So we'll probably have to grab another hydrant. Get our wrench, get them going, and then we'll uh, check it out. All right, let's go uh, back to the pump panel, and we'll do tank fill since we're coming off the hydrant. Let's see. It's going to be 100. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good at all. We would only be able to do like one hand line, even boosted like this one sucks really bad. Uh, okay, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and get on our air and we'll do a 360 real fast. See what it looks like, see what we're dealing with here. And uh, then we'll find us another hydrant. All right, uh, it's going to be the hamburger place with the hot dog billboard. Competition put it right on the side of his building. I'm sure he loved that. He must be leasing from someone else. This is probably going to be locked. No, it's unlocked. Nice. Okay. Um, let's go check downstairs real fast. Let's see what we got. Let's get our mask going. Let's go see what's... We at least kill this fire alarm, maybe. Yes, nice. I'm all about that. Those things get annoying after a while. Uh, yeah, it looks like the second floor is going to be fully involved. Downstairs is okay at the moment. Let's go check this other side here, the other building. I don't think it's spread down here. Oh, it's unlocked too. Sweet, man. Today's our lucky day. I didn't bring a Halligan and we've got two doors that are unlocked. That never happens, guys. Like that never ever happens. If you don't bring a Halligan, you can just about always guarantee that the door is going to be locked. It's just, that's just the way it works out, but not today, my friends. We're good. All right. Um, so yeah, everything's clear. It doesn't look like we have any kind of gas and electrical hookups. I would love to see gas and electrical on every fire because I think it's kind of an aspect to take into consideration and look at, you know. So I think we're good with that. Um, of course, we're going to have to have some scene lights. You guys know that. Y'all know how I am about scene lights. So let's grab another engine. We'll see about grabbing. Uh, we'll find another hydrant. Let's see. What do we even have available? It's going to be one a block down on the corner. Okay, we'll grab it. All right, we're bringing engine one. He's coming into the scene. Let's, uh, okay, yeah, that hydrant's going to be down here. It's going to be a blue or a green top, looks like. Looks like a green top. Let's kill that. Yeah, it's green top. This should be much better. Either way, it's going to be way better than the red top. Pump panel, tank fill, open you up. Let's see, come on. 490, not bad. Okay, boosting off of this would be uh, about, what, 980? little under a thousand so yeah this is really good this is the one we're going to go with right here all right uh now that we've got that done let's oh wait no we're not done either let's do large diameter five real quick let's go ahead and open them up so we complete the boosting process not going to worry about tank to pump coming off the hydrant we're just going to do tank fill all right now we got that let's bring uh tanker two let's get tanker two up here because you guys know how much i love that thing Okay, Tanker 2 is arriving on scene. Let's kill the siren and let's see. Where are we going to park this guy? I think on the corner right here would be a good spot. And we'll bring the tiller ladder out. Put him in front. Maybe the tower ladder from Station 1. Put him on the other side. And we should be good to go. So it's going to be kind of a bigger response on this one. All right, let's go ahead and hop out. Let's uh, hit E to use the pump. Let's do connections. And uh, we'll take a driver intake down. To uh, engine from station one, we'll take that uh, thousand, uh, almost thousand, uh, coming into it. 
gonna be really nice. I love using Tanker 2 as like a, a distribution point for water. Like it's got so many connections on it, so many large diameter connections on it. It's just an awesome, awesome platform to uh, distribute water to like multiple pieces and stuff like that. All right, let's go ahead and do tank fill on this guy as well. And 980, there you go, nice. That is a good, good supply. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this guy down here. We could technically feed him into that one as well too, but I don't think we need that much water going to one unit. All right, let's go ahead and grab the tiller. We'll bring him out here. We'll bring the tiller ladder. Let's do that, let's hit all the things. And since we've got the command vehicle too, we may bring him as well. We may bring him. We can use him as scene lights. He could be like scene lights. Nice. How do you like having a fire like um, like immediately next door to the fire station? So I guess that's kind of good and bad because uh, maybe it shows that they're not doing fire prevention en <laughs> enough. They're not talking to everyone enough about doing fire pre prevention. All right, let's get him, uh, we'll get this guy set up. There we go, operate ladder. All right, that should be good right there. Let's go ahead and hop down with R and let's see, what else can we do? Let's jump in the command vehicle. Let's bring him real fast. We'll get him, what's he own? It's gonna be 4B, right? Yeah, command car. Let's bring him because this dude has some hellacious headlights on him. <laughs> we could really light the area up with this guy. We'll use the chief right there. Yeah, who needs scene lights when you got the command vehicle? So that's your purpose for bringing the command vehicle is uh, definitely lighting up the area. Like I think all we need to do is put some scene lights on the other side of the building over here and around back and we're set. Like, or we could bring another command vehicle. I don't think we're gonna do that though. We'll just do scene lights. Here we go. We'll put one maybe right there. We'll light up the billboard so people know where to get their hot dogs at. And we'll get some on the backside to see another scene light. There we go. Sweet. All right. Um, I don't know if we're going to bring the tower ladder or not, honestly. We may not. We may not. We may just go with this. Let's see. All right, let's let's uh, let's kill the siren and let's get this guy on his corner right here. I think this will be a good location right here. Right there is going to be perfect. Sweet. Okay, let's hop out and get him set up. Maybe get some water going to him. I think we'll use this other guy right here maybe. All right, let's deploy outriggers and let's run a discharge from this guy. To the tower ladder. We'll do discharge six. You want me this side? Maybe? There we go. Kind of a roundabout way, but uh, we got it connected at least. All right, now we need to open him up. We'll get some water going on this guy. Oh, what's going on here? Where, how did that happen? <laughs> it's always this AI kills me. You know, the AI, seriously, like, you never know what they're going to do. Uh, discharge six, right? So what we're going for, let's open this guy all the way. I don't think, yeah, it's only a hundred, man. That's really bad. Is that even going to be enough? Yeah, it is. Okay. That works at least. Um, also, I don't like this over here. Let's do something real fast. There we go. Now that's much, much better. Much better. Okay. Let's hop in and let's get him up. Yeah, it looks like, I'm wondering, is it mostly a roof fire or is it a second floor coming through the roof? Not really sure. We're not going to get crazy with the water yet. We're going to uh, let it simmer for a bit here. All right, let's go out because we got this uh, street light right here. We'll try to get beside it. And let's hit J. To, uh, toggle our ladder pipe and we'll put water on the corner here. We've already got a large majority of it out. All right, now that we've got that going, let's teleport to the ground. Let's hit G. And I think we should be good with that, right? Sweet, yeah, looks good. Okay, all right. 
Yeah, it is. Okay, it is on the second floor as well. Alright, I see. Um, let's do a ladder. Let's put a ladder out. Let's go tools. Where's it at? I think 14 foot should be fine. And we'll put this guy right out front here. Alright, good to go with that. Yeah, I didn't mean to climb that. No, get back down. Let's get our air going again. All right, gear air pack. Nice. Go ahead and get this front door open too. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Never mind. I told you. If you don't have a Halligan, that's what's going to happen most of the time. Uh, let's see. Where is our Halligan at? Forcible entry tool. They changed it. Did that change? Because usually it was called uh, Halligan. When did that change? All right, well, either way, we got our Halligan, uh, AKA forcible entry tool. I guess that maybe that was a little update or something. I haven't noticed. And I think what we're gonna do is just, uh, you know, actually no, we need to go around here to the ladder. Or the, uh, the stairway actually. We need to go to the stairway here. All right, let's check this door up here too. Let's get our air going, we'll crouch down. Can we open it? Nope. All right, let's force it. Come on, open up. I know you want to, do it. <laughs> it's being difficult. Why are you being so difficult? Come on, open up. There we go, finally, man. And I know something else I want to do real quick. I'll show you guys what I want to do here, what I got in mind. That way we won't have to go all the way around back to uh, go up and down the stairs or to go to the second floor. We could just do it like that. So there we go. All right. I think we're set. Maybe actually let's pick this up and let's go back up and let's vent these windows real fast and we need to get rid and we definitely need to get rid going. I'm kind of, I'm flirting with disaster here because wow, this is really weird on top of the, we may not be able to make this happen. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh oh, fireman down. <laughs> fireman down. At least it didn't hurt us. We lucked out. All right, let's drop him right there and let's go ahead and go to uh, hit tab, emergencies, establish command, upgrade alarm. Let's do a, that should be a second, right? Yeah, there we go. Exit out of you and man, look at the heat waves. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. You can see it really good right here. All right, now that we got command going, let's um, hit end and we'll go to command mode and we'll zoom out a bit here, see what the scene looks like. All right, let's go ahead and do AI menu. Definitely get firefighter rescue team because they will respawn you if you die. If you guys aren't familiar with the game, have watched the videos, these guys will save your butt if something goes south and you die. Um, let's do primary search as well too. We'll get these guys going. And I think that's going to be it. I don't think we really need anything else right now. We'll go with that, exit out of you. And let's see, we'll exit out of this as well. Let's go ahead and get some hand lines going. You know, I, I got all this water established and like we haven't done anything with it really. But I mean, I guess we could try a ground monitor up through the window. I don't know how well that'll work, but I think really just a hand line will work. You can never have too much water, right? Like you need lots and lots of water. Water is really important. And luckily we can get a hand line off the tanker as well too. You get one. All right, we'll drop this guy right there. Let's go get it charged. Uh, it's going to be discharge one, right? And we're going to need, I think take the pump on this, honestly. I think so. Tank the pump. Why is it not? Okay, there we go. Let's ramp this guy up. Nice. All right, we have water. We're good with that. Let's uh, let's hit this window right here. We'll go ahead and hit the windows. Kind of do a little bit of an exterior attack. And then, man, I love those heat waves. Those look so good. Doesn't look like we're doing much though. 
Go to first person would be keep hitting it. Uh, maybe let's see if we can get this window knock. Yeah, so we can knock them out. There we go. That one went out. I wonder if the uh, little awning, if the awning is like blocking the water effect. I mean, you can see it. You can see it going up there, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, yeah, we may have to hit that from the inside, actually. Go ahead and get this in down here. Yeah, I think the awning's blocking it. Yeah, you can tell, like, it, we're not able to bust that window out. So, yeah, the awning, even though you see the visual of it clearing, it's like the awning is actually blocking the effect. Okay, that's fine. Let's go inside, uh, downstairs. I think we hit the ceiling a little bit here. Probably not going to do anything for that. Yeah, I think we got to go upstairs. All right, maybe so. Yeah, we did get it. Okay. Sweet. All right, let's hop back up and let's go around to our ladder. We'll climb up and go up and over. Nice. Nice. That's a good setup. I like this fire scene. I'm proud of myself. All right, grabbed a few screenshots. We'll get this knocked out real. Wow, it already went out, man. That was fast. That was super fast. That was honestly a little anticlimactic. <laughs> it went out so quick. Like as soon as I put some water on it, it's uh, it's out. Okay, we're good, guys. Like we did it, man. That was really fast. I don't know what was up with that, but like it was really involved, and we put a little bit of water on it, and now it's out. So we're good with this one. All right, let's go back. Uh, Let's go back out. Let's drop this. They're going to button up the building really fast before we can ever, <laughs> ever get our stuff gathered. So we'll leave it outside. All right, guys, there you go. 39 Reed Street is now under control. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like, subscribe, ring that bell, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Keep the suggestions coming because I love doing them. It helps give me uh, ideas on what you guys want to see. Love all you guys. Thank you so much for the support, and we'll catch you on the streets of Canton County next time. Peace.